Hello, it's Kay here and today I'm going to show you my coping box. This is a box that you use if you're struggling with your mental health. Um, so if you're like having a panic attack, really anxious, on edge, um, want, want to self-harm or suicidal or anything like that, the idea is to look through your box and hopefully find something at least to distract you or make cheer you up, calm you down. Realistically, I don't always use mine when I should, or when I could benefit from it. And I need, I, I think I'd need someone else to say like, hey Kay, look in your box and um, that might help. Well sometimes um, I'll look through my box and I'll be just so down and pessimistic, I'll be like, no this isn't helping. But then I'll come across like one little thing, might be something really unexpected and it will help a tiny bit, so I do try and use it. So here is my box. And I'll go through the contents in a moment. I decorated it anyway, um, with just random scraps and stickers I had. Nothing special. Here's the contents of my box. So the first thing in my box is memories. So this is like photos and scrapbook. My yearbook here from school, which has just got lots of really nice messages and things in for my friends. It's really nice to look through. Next one's a scrapbook from school. This has got loads of memories and things we did in. The next thing is photos of like, I've got photos of my family and then I also have photos of my pets or cats, they're all cats but it's really nice to look through. In fact this cat isn't actually mine, it's a <laughs> neighbourhood cat that comes in but he's so cute. This is uh, one of my favourites, it's a picture of before my mum and dad um, got divorced then I have cards for my friends. When we were in school, we used to make cards for each other. So I've kept these because it's, it's it's nicer than just keeping um, just shop bought cards. And some of them have got nice messages in as well. Uh, my, my next thing is a teddy bear. I, this is just like one of my favourite teddies. It hasn't really got any special meaning or anything. It's just nice to have. In school, I was a huge Twilight fan, and I've also got a few things in my box from that because it was just such an exciting and happy time for me. All the excitement and buzz about it. So I've got this t-shirt I designed. And then this is from when I went to see all five films back to back. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little program. I wanted um, to put a DVD in because that's a d good distraction. So I've put vampire stuff in because it really makes me laugh. Uh, whereas the actual Twilight films, although they're my favourite, they can kind of bring back happy memories which then in turn kind of make me a bit sad and wish I could go back to them times because I think like my first few years at least of school were like really happy and I wouldn't say perfect but a lot better than they are now. The next thing is a little book my friend got me, If It Fits I Sit and it's just funny pictures of cats in like funny weird um, places. So the next few things are from when I was in hospital. So when I was first in hospital, my little brother drew me a little little book of animal pictures and it's um, really cute to look through. And then the second time he wrote me a little note saying um, that he loves me and get well soon. And then the next picture I drew when I was in hospital, there was a lot of colouring books and pieces of paper to colour in and do puzzles on and things in hospital, so I spent a lot of my time doing that. I made a uh, friend in the hospital my second time. We had a lot in common and um, she introduced me to Tangles. These, these look really weird I guess and probably, you're probably like, well, why? why? <laughs> but it, it's really fun and addicting to play with and it's, it's good if you're anxious. And it makes a good noise. This last hospital one is a bit strange. Um, there was this guy there and he was really friendly and he just told me about his life and things. But, and he used to make me drink a lot, he, he made me um, a glass of milk once and I wasn't sure whether he, he'd understand properly or how he'd react if I explained to him that I was vegan so I pretend, pretended to drink it um, but yeah he, um, he gave me this in the garden once and it's just a funny little memory my next few things are kind of focusing on the senses so I've got this for noise which is a relaxation CD that my crisis team gave me and then I have headphones just to um, remind me to listen to Spotify, like a relaxing or happy, positive playlist. For taste, I've got some Starbursts, 
I didn't want to um, put chocolate or something that would go out of date or melt in, so I got sweets. I have this, which is a little uh, almond lip balm, and it really reminds me of a uh, Battenberg cake. <laughs> I got this from um, my a buddy box, which is a subscription box for aimed at people with depression. The next few things I also got from the buddy box. The first is a colouring pencil, but it's it's not an ordinary one. It's got a um, colourful tip, and basically when you draw on it, it changes colours. So I I like doing this. It's quite fun to <laughs> do it with. And the next thing is a hand cream. It smells really nice. So it is kind of the touch sense, I guess, and also the smell. And I've got a lavender spray, which is again a smell. It's um, relaxing and calming. So this is obviously quite a good thing to put in there. And I've got a few little random thing ones um my dad got me it's like fossil it is a little locket and it's just got a little picture of me and him and it's really cute i've got a really cute little butterfly that i like to look at you can kind of fiddle with wings and things and you can even put it in your hair it's got a clip and i got a guitar pick I thought this guitar pick when i was at an imagine dragon concert and um yeah i was really surprised to have caught it so I, I, I like that cute. and then i have a few things to do so i've got a ds which is good because you can lose yourself so easily in a DS game. And then other distractions, I've got a colouring book and a drawing book, which I think I've got both of these in the buddy box actually. Um, this is not a promotion for buddy boxes, I just, they do send useful things. And then I've just got a few like marker pens, um, I don't know why I have a fascination with them, but I really like drawing on them and things, so I've just got a few of those in there to like, just simple things really to try and lighten my mood. Getting on to the more serious things I guess, like if I'm getting quite bad, I've got my rescue remedy which is good like if you're really anxious or on edge. Uh, and I've got a red pen because I use to uh, stop myself self-harming, like as an alternative would be to draw on my arms and red, red pen instead. And the next thing is this huge folder, which I can't have. To, I don't have time to go into, but properly. But it's got things, just random things in like uh, funny pictures, um, anxiety, uh, breathing techniques, and um, like my support circle and that sort of thing. Just lots of little random stuff. And then this came out of my folder, but I wanted it separate because it's kind of really useful. It's just a list of words I try and use to describe myself, get positive, because I have really bad self-esteem and most of the time I think of just negative words all the time and just can't think of anything positive about myself. So every now and again I'd write down if I thought, actually I am this or someone would give me a, like, a meaningful compliment, I'd write the word down and then um, it's kind of accumulated and I like to read it and think, oh yeah, I am not as bad as I think. And then I've got this little emergency uh, card, which is just phone numbers like um, the Samaritans and my crisis team and family members in, to call in a crisis. And one last thing is this blanket. Some people say you should put a blanket in your box, but I, I use this all the time, so I don't. But um, it's got butterflies on, it's really cosy. So it's a quite a nice comfort. I guess. The story about why I have it around me is um, the first time I was in hospital there was this girl there that would always go around with a blanket wrapped around her and and um, me with my BPD having a lack of sense of identity ended up kind of copying her a bit and this is one of those things that kind of just stayed with me and has become a part of me as well now. So that's all my stuff in my box and that was quite deep. I do probably find it a bit hard to talk about these but at the same time I want to spread awareness and if you want to uh, see more mental health videos then I'll try and do some, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed that video and thanks for listening and please subscribe for more. Thank you.